What's up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the POCO A5 and today I'll be talking about clean flashing to a different custom ROM from a different custom ROM and this guide I'm making because earlier I have found out an issue where if you just format data and flash a different custom ROM, it won't simply boot on the POCO A5 and this is happening in May 2025 and in the future if there is a newer method I'll make a different video about that too again. Now let me tell you I will be flashing today this project Infinity X version 2.8 official build. This is the 18th May 2025 build. It has both vanilla and the gapps included variant and as usual I will be flashing the gapps included variant here and you can see all the notes and changelog stuff from right here. It has the Dolby Atmos support and stuff and I have heard good words about this ROM from a lot of users in the comment section. So huge thanks to you guys, I'll be flashing this ROM today. But first things first, let me tell you I'm on the latest Durfist ROM. This is the 15.2 Durfist ROM and the build date here is of 10th May 2025. I have already reviewed it, you can check out the review from the cards. And let me tell you if you want to update a specific ROM, I have a separate guide for that. By the way, I have already downloaded this Infinity X ROM on my storage of this Poco F5 and everything Will be wiped from your device so make sure you back up your files your contacts your messages and all those things and here in my download folder i have this project infinity x let me show you the properties this is the rom file that i'll be flashing again and this is again the 18th may 2025 build and it includes the gfs the file size is about 2.5 gb so right now what i'll do i'll just straight up reboot to the recovery and the specific recovery will be present in the description box below right now i'll just hit reboot and go to recovery directly from here because i have the advanced reboot enabled and again i'm switching the rom from dark face to this infinity x rom here we have the orange fox recovery booting up i have just entered the pin i'll just hit right by the way this is the orange fox recovery that i'm using r11.1 underscore 7 and this is the beta version First things first, I'll go to files and I'll format data later on. I just went to the download location where the files are, the ROM files and this is the project Infinity X file. You can also select a firmware if you are looking for a specific firmware if you need to flash it in future but I'm already on the latest firmware so I'm not selecting that. I will just select the ROM file. This is the project Infinity X ROM file. Now here is the twist. You will see there is the clean payload flashing. This is what I have selected here because I'll be flashing this ROM clean. And this reboot after installation, I'll just uncheck that because I need to format data because I'm switching ROM again from the dirt face to this project Infinity X ROM. Now let me clarify one more point here. If you are switching from one ROM to another ROM, then you only need to select this clean payload flashing. If you are updating on the same ROM, if you are on and you receive a newer update, you just download the latest update. You can just uncheck this clean payload flashing then and you can just reflash the latest build and just hit reboot after installation it will automatically reboot after updating it but right now i will select this clean payload flashing here and i'll let everything else be selected like this reflash orange fox recovery after flashing a rom i will suggest leave it selected and again i'm not selecting reboot after installation because i need to format data so i'll just swipe to install and wait for the time being Okay, so it shows the flashing is successful, but right now what I'll do, I'll just go home and reboot the recovery once because I will format data again and it's just booting back to the recovery. I re-entered the pin and hit write. Now I'll just go to this wipe section and go on top in the format data section and I'll type yes and hit write. Once that's done, I'll just click on reboot system and wait for the time being again. And right there we can notice the Infinity Access boot animation on the POCO F5 finally, so that's nice. And right there we can see the setup screen, I don't know why it's so dim, not really sure if you can see it. But yeah, there we have the setup screen, so I'll just continue with the setup. And here all the apps and stuff shows in grayscale and on the top it shows welcome to Infinity X. And the wallpaper actually restored from the backup part. Alright, so this is the default Infinity X wallpaper. I'll just apply it for the time being. So yeah, with the default wallpaper, it looks good enough, I would say. But yes, all the apps are in grayscale because I'm restoring my Google App Data backup and stuff. And the good thing is actually it has backed up everything from the home screen because I was on the Durface ROM. And I've talked about that. This is how the Infinity X settings looks like. It looks clean, I would say. Shows the device name and stuff on top. Looks pretty sleek. We have the Infinity suit and stuff. I think this is for the customization. All right, so this is the about section of the Infinity X. It looks sleek. We have the 2.8 version right here. 
and we have more things and this android 15 look if you just keep tapping and holding on it you will get the android 15 easter egg it looks beautiful now this is how you switch or change custom roms on the poco a5 guys and i made this guide because it is a little bit of newer kind of process you can say and i hope with this guide you can actually switch roms on your poco a5 too and of course i will be reviewing this rom in future after a couple of days of testing so do stay tuned for that so that pretty much concludes this video guys and if you found this video helpful you can give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends so that they get to know how to switch or flash custom roms freshly on their poco a5s i hope you all having a great day this is tito signing off from kdn tech and i'll catch you guys in the next one